Hi, uh, my name's Simon. I live in Amsterdam. I hear a lot of people say uh, they ship the products to their own home. Look, all of the people that I hear are from the US. For me, to ship all the products from China to Amsterdam and then over to FBA in the US seems like a big waste of time and money. Um, could you expand, please, on um, how people get around this or uh, what the alternatives are to that? That would be great. Thank you very much. Hey, Simon, thanks so much for the question all the way from Amsterdam. Thank you for uh, for that long-distance question. That's awesome. Hey, uh, yeah, here's the deal, right? When we talk about getting stuff shipped to our own location, it really does mean in that same country, um, that's going to make most sense. I would not say for you to uh, order something, have it shipped to Amsterdam, and then ship it back into Amazon um, FBA in the States. Um, that just wouldn't make sense. So the workaround to that is you would have to have a third-party inspection company. Um, the one that I recommend that I've heard really good things about, all my students are really using this one company. It's Top Win inspections.com. Again, if you guys want the uh, resources or even the show notes, um, you can find that all on this this episode. I'll put the links and the uh, you know the different resources on this particular episode, which is 226, or you can head over to the resources page and you can find that, um, that link over there, theamazingseller.com forward slash resources. Uh, but yeah, you're going to want to do that. And what they'll do is they'll act as your inspector and they do a really good job. So this way here, you might pay a couple hundred bucks for them to do it on your entire order, but then they're going to give you a report. They're going to give you pictures. They're going to let you know if there's any problems before you ship it in because that's that's what we really want here. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing when I ship stuff here to my home office is I want to be able to inspect it uh, to a certain degree. Now, I'm moving in the direction where I'm going to start shipping stuff direct, but it took me a little while to trust the process because, again, once you ship stuff into Amazon, you don't know if anything is wrong with it until you start getting complaints from customers, and that's scary to me. Um, so you have to have a little trust in your supplier, but once you do an inspection, um, I believe that from there you'll be able to get that trust. And and also, a little side note is when you tell your manufacturer that you're going to have it inspected, they will probably do a better job of QCing it, you know, quality controlling it. So uh, that's what I would recommend. I've got a bunch of people right now that either listen to the podcast or that are in my uh, in my class that actually use an inspection company and they swear by it. So um, that's what I would recommend for you, Simon. Well, hey there. Thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now, that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. If you want to go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you want to listen to any of those episodes, head over to theamazingseller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to theamazingseller.com. There's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just wanted to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. What I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business. And this way here, you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.